so hello guys and welcome back so today we are back with the math explorers question series because i was receiving a lot of requests dms that i should bring in once again the math explorers questions so i guess that's pretty like obvious because math explorers questions are really good and deserve to be there in a series okay like crazy crazy stuff they are making so we are back once again with another question from math explorers that you can see on the screen right now so guys if you want you can try out this question yourself once and you can pause the video i will wait for a few seconds and then start off solving this okay guys i guess now it's time for us to solve this so you can see there is sort of a functional equation given and this question this functional equation is actually really good okay like don't consider it it can be solved normally using el hospital little bit difficult okay so we will go on to directly solving this functional equation so i am changing the page guys and then solving okay so guys this was given to be f of x is equal to integral 0 to x e power x minus y into f dash y dy minus of x square minus x plus 1 e power x and here it is specified that x is belonging to real number okay now just like just pay attention to this because i am going to do a lot of intense manipulation okay so first thing i am letting a function i of x as your integral 0 to x e power x minus y into f dash y dy so when i do this i can write f of x is equal to i of x minus of x squared minus x plus 1 times e power x okay so from here if we just adjust this a little bit take this particular term to the left hand side then i of x will become f of x plus of x square minus x plus 1 e power x okay now why this is important because now we are going to differentiate this equation so if we differentiate this equation i guess i dash x will come out to be integral 0 to x e power x minus y and this will be f dash y dy okay like chain rule and this will be plus of f dash x okay okay i hope you can understand this part like we are actually pulling out in this particular term e par x outside and then we are differentiating so it will be e par x differentiated will be e par x times the whole thing so actually the thing remains and after that you will have f dash x okay i hope you understand so guys this comes out to be i dash x is equal to i of x you can see plus f dash x and now what we are going to do is like if we try to calculate like i don't think we need to calculate i will put i of x and i dash x into this equation rather you can write this equation as i dash x minus i of x equal to f dash x okay so i can write this as f of x like from here f of x plus x square minus x plus 1 e powered okay e power x was inside i'm sorry e power x my and this is whole dash minus of f of x plus x squared minus x plus 1 e power x this thing is equal to f dash x okay okay so now after this step just differentiate this so you will get f dash x plus of x square minus x plus 1 e power x and this will be whole dash just keep it like that for the time being minus of f of x minus of your x square minus x plus 1 e power x is equal to f dash x so f dash and f dash get cancelled so you finally get f of x as equal to x square minus x plus 1 e power x whole dash this is the bracket and minus of your x square minus x plus 1 times e power x okay i hope this was clear so guys now let's do one thing like differentiate this thing so let's take it to be some gx which is equal to x square minus x plus 1 e power x 
So if we from here calculate g dash x, I guess it is coming out to be 2x minus, uh, wait, g dash x, right, okay. It is coming out to be x square plus x times e power x. I hope I am correct, yeah. It's coming out to be x squared plus x times e power x. So your f of x actually comes out to be x square plus x times e power x minus of x square minus x plus 1 e power x. So some cancellations. And finally what you will get is your f of x function. This thing will be equal to 2x minus 1 times e power x. Okay. This is your final f of x. So f of x has come. That means we can move on to the options now. Okay, so guys, let's quickly take a sneak peek into the options. So first option says f has a local minimum at x equal to minus half. Second option has this comparison which we need to validate. The third option is this integral which I guess I think this will be correct. Like from first look because this function that has come it is symmetric. Okay, let's see. And in option number D for every x greater than 0 there exists a beta belonging to 0 comma x such that f dash beta is equal to twice e power beta. Okay. Okay. Let's evaluate the options one by one. Okay. So guys for option number A, let's do one thing for local minimum. We will find out the single and double differential. So f dash x will be 2x plus 1 times e power x. And your f double dash x will be equals to your 2x plus 3 times e power x. Okay, so if we observe at x equal to minus half, I guess f double dash of minus half. Okay, wait, not f double dash minus half, f single dash minus half, it is coming to be equal to zero. And your f double dash minus half, this thing will come out to be, I guess, 2 e powered x. Okay, not 2 e power x, 2 e power minus half which is actually greater than zero. It's a positive quantity, right? So basically greater than double differential being greater than zero denotes a local minima, which means your option number A is absolutely correct. Okay. So moving on to option number B. In option number B, we had this comparison. F of X to be greater than one minus X plus three X square by two minus five X cubed by six. Now guys, this looks like, like these types of questions have been asked in options in JE advance earlier, but like we actually try to make a generating function so that this right hand side generates automatically. But here I would recommend that you don't need to make a generating function because like if you do value comparison, then you will understand the validity of the statement. Okay. Like see, if this part was unknown, then maybe we had to think of some generating function. I also haven't thought because it's already given and we have to only like judge the sign of this expression, this one. Okay. Okay. So guys, as our x tends to 0 plus, you will see that your f of x or the left hand side, it is, let's see in what it is tending. Okay. So f of x is 2x minus 1 times e power x. So 0 plus, I guess this will be minus, okay, it's a negative quantity. So this thing is actually tending to minus one. Okay. And if we go towards the RHS and put X is tending to zero plus, then I guess this will be one minus of zero plus. Okay. Like this complete part would actually be smaller than one. Okay. So it's positive. It's tending to plus one. So if F of X, the LHS tends to minus one and RHS tends to plus one, then this should be less than, not greater than, which means option B is wrong. Okay. Like we did it in one step only. Like if they had asked something else, maybe we would have to think about the generating function, but I haven't thought because no necessity here. Okay. Okay. So guys, in our third option, it is integral zero to one. F of one minus X DX. And let me just give you a small reminder that our F of X that we have found it is equal to 2x minus 1 e power x. So I guess this thing can be easily made equal to integral 0 to 1 f of t dt. 
either put t equals to 1 minus x or I guess you can apply King's rule also. 1 minus of 1 plus 0 minus x. Okay, wait. 1 minus of 1 plus 0 minus x. Okay, don't wait, wait, wait. Don't apply King's rule. Do this, okay. King's rule would actually make that a bit. Okay, wait. Yeah, yeah, it's actually okay. It's 1 minus of 1 minus x. Sorry, guys. So it's coming to be plus x, yeah. Variable doesn't matter. So validity of the statement, whether you apply King's rule or if you substitute t equals to one minus x here also, you will get it, okay. I am not just going into that. So this is correct, C option. And into option number D finally. So in option number D, it said f dash beta is equal to twice e power beta and we have to somehow satisfy this. So we have something with us like the single differential 2x plus 1 e power x, which means 2 beta plus 1 e power beta is equals to 2 e power beta. So e power beta and e power beta, if there occurs a cancellation, I guess beta is coming to be equal to half. So you get beta as half. Okay. So actually, this statement D will be true. Just a small statement I'm writing, provided that half it belongs to your zero comma x. Okay, and now we know x is greater than zero. Actually, to be very precise, x should have been given to be I guess greater than half. But like broader terms, x greater than zero is also correct. So our job currently is to not judge the question to judge our option okay so i guess this is very correct x is greater than zero that means option d is also correct okay so guys i guess correct answers for this question will be a c and d okay like very good question on l hospitals very manipulative and really really relevant to j advanced okay okay so guys i hope this question is over so we will keep it till here today that's the end for this video and don't worry our 100 day question series is also continuing in the same time so do watch and that's it for today if you have liked my channel guys do like share and subscribe any doubts anything just come to the comment section and there is also my telegram link in the description you can come there so that's it let's end this video here thanks for watching